All right, time to dust ourselves off and try again. Back to back one, one, and one days here on the morning wager. We will start with Mark Zinno leading off our double play. You, our one win yesterday was your half of the double play. So, what better way to start this fine program on a Wednesday? Tampa Bay and Oakland. I had a 4% winner on Oakland on Monday, but you're going in a different direction here now that it's Wednesday, Mark. And I like this direction. Tell the people about it. Yeah, well, I'm tired of kissing my sister for the last two days with pushes. So let's get a couple of more wins here. And also, uh, let's give a quick uh, moment to remind everybody there's officially a hit put out on Rocco Baldelli for mismanaging the bullpen last night in the Twins game. That cost yep. us five percent. So uh, to all those who, who tailed the five percent yesterday, uh, we have apologies. But uh, soon Rocco Baldelli will, will no longer be part of us anymore okay so <laughs> today's game is in athletics yes, yes there we go. that will that will be mark zitto for the next uh, 30 years of his life and uh, yes walking there around was, it, 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 very funny hat and glasses um okay what were we talking about baseball yes rays and athletics here a uh, kind of interesting series when you when you look at it you, you see you saw that the rays uh, didn't show up in game one you had the oakland athletics they went three nothing last night the Rays win one nothing, so we've got a whole lot of uh, runs being scored here. The exact opposite. So, I kind of want to jump on the Ryan Pepio or Pio 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 Pio. However Pepio. You say his name. Anyway, I, I want to jump on the train here with him. He's gone seven consecutive starts, giving up two runs or less, uh, and he's gone at least five in in five of those seven. So the Rays have have done pretty well with him on the mound, and it's worked out in their favor. Uh, despite the fact that we know the Rays, you know, and their lack of run support and their sort of uh, bad, what's the word here, Ryan? Run differential. Um, run differential. They've was, overachieved. Yes. Um, and they don't give Pepe a lot of run support, but still, the A's to me are a team that I want to fade against right now. Mitch Spence is the starter. He's got a 464 ERA and a whip of 1.34. I don't think the Rays need to do that much here in this spot. I'm only playing first five. Why? Because Oakland is a much better bullpen and Tampa Bay's bullpen is bad. So um, I want to get those things out of there and just play on Tampa Bay to score early here. Um, it, it wouldn't surprise me if both teams score a bunch, but we'll keep the tie in our back pocket. So take the Rays' first five money line here in a manageable number that uh, Pio, 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 Pio uh, will do Pio. his job and, and Tampa Bay will push a couple of runs across here. So Rays' first five money line against the Ace and at my half of the double play. Smash that like button if you're down with that. Yeah, Zeno, I hear you on the Twins. I was right there with you. We were commiserating last night, again this morning. And then to, the real kicker was I had the under in the Guardians-Yankees game as well, eight and a half. That was yeah, uh, It looked terrible early, and I, I texted you. I said, get me to the bullpens. We got to the bullpens. They yes. took care of it. Unfortunately, they were too good, and the game went to extra innings, which is where unders go to die. But I have an That's over awesome. for you. In my, my half of the double play, uh, you mentioned Pepio, good pitcher. Well, we don't have good pitching in Angels Royals today. Uh, I am looking at the over nine. Angels surprised me, winning 9-5 yesterday. I was wrong. I wanted to lay the half run in the first five uh, with Kansas City. That was my half double play yesterday. It was a tie game after five. Uh, but today, I'm gladly going to fade Royal starter Michael Lorenzen. Why? He's due for negative regression. 4.70 expected ERA. He came over at the trade deadline, and he is, he's been better for the Royals than he was for the Rangers. But here's the thing, 87% strand rate, okay? His expected FIP is not good either. This is a guy who's due to give up some more runs. Angels scored nine yesterday, and let's not forget about a Royals bullpen mark that has been near the bottom of baseball since the beginning of May. But I could not believe this is true. I had to do a double take. When I looked at the wagertalk.com live odds screen today, Mark, you want to know why I had to do a double take when I looked at the wagertalk.com live odds screen this morning? Would you like to blind? take a gander? No, I am not blind. Uh, there we go. I, 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 no, I'm not, I'm not, I, I almost said something and I would never have heard the end of it from Joe Ranieri. So I'm not going to say that. Instead, okay, what I am going to say, Johnny Cueto is starting for the Angels today. Johnny, you talk about Hawk Tua, okay? Uh, well, I go. cannot That's, believe yeah, I, I, I cannot believe this man is pitching in a major league baseball game in the year 2024. Not a lot of faith in what he can do. He has not made a big league start since last season when he posted a 6.02 ERA for Miami. 
He did not look good down at AAA by all accounts, okay? And the Royals, what do we talk about with the Royals all the time? At home, they hit better, they walk more, they strike out less. Johnny Cueto is not going to do good here. I don't think Lorenzen does well. I don't like either of these bullpens. So up, up, and over nine, my half of the double play, Angels and Royals. Why don't you go ahead now and comment down below with your favorite bets for Wednesday in Major League Baseball. We'll be giving out ours in a little bit. But that great seven-day special that we talked about, it is now over. But when one great special ends, Mark, another one begins. It is Half Price Wednesday at wagertalk.com. That means all daily packages, 50% off, including my 5% college football win total. Today only, guys, you can get it half off at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. What can they get at wt.buzz slash mz, Mark? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was just we're, we're still licking our wounds. Oh, you want me to? Oh, yes, I'll have places. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I'll come well, back. Well, why, don't you, well, why don't you just tell me what you'd like to promote? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, we'll have we'll have two plays up today. We'll try to lick our wounds and get back. Look, guys, still 23 and 10 in the month. Number one still in all the important categories over at Wager Talk. You know, ROI, because you know, ROI. Uh, anyway. Yeah. But uh, 23 and 10 still the best winning percentage, too. And, you know, wins matter. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, uh, I'll have two plays. There it is. There it is. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. That, that's what make my morning better. You know, I woke up after losing a 5%. I see that picture of Brian Power to make myself better. I also would have rather thrown up in my coffee, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so, wt.buzz slash MD, still the number one handicapper in baseball during the month of August. We'll get right back on the horse today, and uh, we will we will spit on that thing and keep moving. <laughs> All right, I am not throwing up in my coffee, sir. Uh, but I'll tell you what has to make the Miami Marlins throw up, and that is sending your boy Rod Munoz to the mound. Uh, just to peel back the curtain a little bit, we were talking, eh, what was it, about half hour or so, 45 minutes ago, and I said, oh, my gosh, Zeno, Rod Munoz is on the mound for Miami. And you said, mm -hmm. well, we got to take Arizona. And I said, wait yep. a minute, they've got Jordan Montgomery on the mound. And you said, this let's is our go best over. Bet. Um, yeah, this is our best bet here. Look, um, Rodri Munoz has gone five consecutive starts where the game ended with at least eight runs scored. Why? Because Rodri Munoz is not a major league starter. Um, and his name is Rodri. So uh, couldn't just be Rod or Rodrick and Rodri. Like, what are we doing here? Um, that's a bad nickname. We've got to work on that, Rod. Uh, anyway, so uh, we, we know that Arizona's going to be able to score. Uh, and the fact that they didn't score any last night, it was a 3-1 game, kind of makes me almost like this, this over a little bit more. But Jordan Montgomery is even worse. This guy is an abortion on the mound. My dear Lord, do you realize in his last 11 starts, dating back to May 31st, he has only had three games. No, I'm sorry, two games that have not netted at least nine runs. That's it. You want to know why? Because he sucks. That's why. So, um, nonetheless. This is a spot here where we're going to take advantage of the fact that uh, you got two really bad pitchers on the mound, and the Marlins don't hit the ball well on the road, but they're okay at home, and they should do enough here against um, the D-backs. And not only that, uh, Arizona's got a bad bullpen, and we may need that late for a couple extra runs to push across. So they're a bottom 10 bullpen in ERA and whip. And, uh, yeah, I, I think we get enough runs here. I think, I think they bust out the whooping sticks after uh, last night's sort of meager scoring. Uh, and, and we get an over eight and a half here. Very very good number. Very lucky number. I like it. Yep. Nine, of course, the key number in betting Major League Baseball totals. So the longest short of it is Jordan Montgomery sucks. Rodri Munoz sucks. So let's take and it over Rocco in Ball Arizona, sucks. Miami. And Rocco Baldelli Ball Ball sucks. Lose. He's not involved in that game, but he definitely you does suck. suck. He sucks. You suck, suck. Rocco. I don't yes. understand. Like, right. I get he only had any pitches, but when you get a guy – in the seventh inning, you have the Twins freaking bullpen. This is the Minnesota Twins bullpen. This is a top five bullpen. I had to get it. Bailey Orber only had like 80 pitches. A guy reaches second in a three to one game. Go get him. Like, just go take him out. How many times is Bailey Ober this year? I'm going to continue to rant on this. How many times is Bailey Ober this year gone into the seventh inning? Because I think I can count it on one hand the number of times that That's Bailey Ober. Yeah, has has gone into – I'm checking this out right now because I'm pissed off. Um, oh, no. How many times he's actually made it into the seventh inning? Let's see. Oh, yes, that would be twice the entire year. 
douche. I mean, they're just bad managing, man. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these managers. Like, I just don't get it. They, when, when they're supposed to leave them in, they take them out. When they're supposed to take them out, they leave them in. How do these guys have jobs? Exactly. Speaking of douches. So, anyway. Oh, no, that was uncalled for. That was absolutely well, that uncalled for. Kind of, that moment you look kind of I, douchey. I think, yeah, I do. I think I'm wearing the same shirt in that picture that I am right now, as a matter of fact. Yes, I am. All right. Anyway. Uh, it's your clothes. Yeah, I have. I, I've actually been wearing the same shirt. I've been wearing the same shirt for four months. I love how, yeah, I love how the Joe Ranieri laughing behind the scenes, as he always yeah, is. At my misfortune. Anyway, smash the like button if you hate Rodri Munoz. Smash the like button if you feel our pain. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the show. Why would you not enjoy the show? It is every Monday through Friday. Mark Zeno and I. Give Kelly in the nuts. Okay, yes. Uh, how about that? Just smash the like button just for doing it. We give you three free plays every day here on the Morning Wager, Monday through Friday. Mark Zeno and I. You can find him at Mark Zeno. It's a very appropriate Twitter handle there, buddy. Not just a clever name. <laughs> no. At Brian Power underscore wins as you can find me. A little more clever, you know, throwing an underscore for the people. Uh, we'll be talking football before you know it, but that does it for the show today. Maybe we can get a jingle on the way out, or... Nope, we're not going to get a nope. jingle on the way out. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, you don't want a jingle? No. Okay, no jingle. Because no. every time I pick a 5%, really... Johnson ends up freaking losing. So that, that biatch is gone. She's well, out. I'll tell you what. It's... If it means anything to you, I still love you. Yes. All right. Well, (laughs) on that note, until next time, everyone, let's cash some tickets.